being paralyzed is, is absolutely shocking. It's like everything just crumbles. Everything you've ever planned and thought and, and dreamed about completely falls away. Traditionally or conventionally, we tend to think about a traumatic spinal cord injury, so a sudden traumatic injury where there's a fracture of the bones around the spinal cord and an injury to the cord itself. But spinal cord injuries can be caused by all kinds of other diseases and illnesses as well, such as infections and tumors, in addition to the traditional or, or conventional traumatic spinal cord injury. When someone injures themselves and they come out of the intensive care unit, they go straight to the spinal cord ward at VGH. By the time they get to rehab, uh, that's when they start having a lot more questions to do with like lifestyle and how to move forward. And we are most important when people transition into the community because that, in essence, is real rehab. That's the transitioning that is the most important. I think the peer program is a tremendous asset for BCPA. I personally work really, really closely with uh, all the peer associates. I think having someone who has been there before and to, uh, who, who has gone through the process before to let them know it's okay and to, uh, to introduce the rest of the rehab team to them, I think it, 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 it helps a great deal. I had an accident five years ago. I broke my back at T5 and uh, in a wheelchair, paraplegic. Uh, I was fixing up a street sweeper, uh, had the back tank up in the air, just like a dump truck would have his been up in the air. Um, I didn't put the safety in, and I went on there thinking, well, I'll be there only for two minutes. And I fell and touched the lever, and I brought the tank down on me in five seconds. Blink of an eye and uh, that's it. it. Never be the same. So Jean Potvin is a patient of mine. I first met him when he had his injury about five years ago and he was one of my patients here at GF Strong. And I've continued to follow Jean through the years. His injury level is around T5 and T5 is just below the nipple level. So below that level he has a loss of sensation and a loss of movement in his lower extremities. So can't move his legs and has a loss of sensation. But it took a few days before it sank in, and that's when it sank that I wanted to die. I said to myself, why did they bother saving me? Why did they put, why did they put so much effort into saving me if it's to leave me in that state? Uh, of course, I was in pain, and uh, I couldn't see how. I would manage to get back up. You have to believe in the concept of peers. You have to believe that what one person does in their life can make a huge and positive impact in another person's life. And if you don't buy into that, there's no way you can run a program that is based on that. At first, when I met BCPA peer program, it was here at GF and they, they helped me so much, and I've seen the benefit of being just at the rehab wrap, uh, being a bunch of guys together and talking about what happened to us. You know, some are crying, some are laughing, uh, talking about, you know, everything that goes on in our life, the fear of what's gonna go on when, when we get back home. So from my point of view, BCPA really provides a strong link to the community. So for our patients who are here, the BCPA often provides the first link they really have to some of the team that they might be involved with in the community. So someone who's, who wants to run a program, someone who wants to give to others, they need to be living a lifestyle that is going to motivate and inspire others. And our team is built upon people who are doing those types of things. I see people with great spirit, and I've seen mentor, I've seen peers that are just lifting my, my spirit up. Soon I realized that it was me that was doing that for others as well. And when they told me that they want to open an office in Abbotsford to uh, serve the Fraser Valley, I couldn't pass this opportunity. The fact that we have someone out in the uh, in that area to, to put on events that people can go to, I think it's a great help to them. 
Uh, it, it makes them feel less uh, isolated. It, it makes them feel like they're part of the community and also there's uh, uh, they're people they can talk to. There's a support system that they can rely on. I see happiness growing around me and, and that makes a good day for me. My three daughters, when I got injured, they were three, five, and seven. The three-year-old doesn't remember me before. She doesn't remember me walking. I guess she kind of grew up with it. My middle child, she even blocked her memory. There's some time when I was at the hospital that she says she doesn't remember that. She still cry when she thinks of dad could be injured again or something could happen to her family. My oldest one, she grew up really fast. She started you know, vacuuming and, and cleaning the house. She helped a lot, but we don't want to take away her, her, her childhood. But she's so understanding, you know. Three months ago, my wife told me that I'm a better person to live with than the one I was before my injury. It made me cry. It was the better gift she could ever give me.